It won't be once we light up this pitch. Welcome to another episode of This How We Brew It. This How We Brew It. This is how we brew it. It's 2018. 2018. January. And I'm feeling lean. Feeling lean. No. All right. So today on This How We Brew, we are going to go over how to use a Belgium coffee maker. Now, it's actually a Belgium Royal coffee maker. Which this is they, only for the upper echelon. Yeah. It's a type of siphon coffee maker. So if you know, maybe look up siphon coffee maker, some are stacked vertically. Uh, those are referred to as the French balloon. All right, but these are Belgians. This is how it works. Uh, no electricity needed, so that's nice. And, uh, okay, I've done this once. Dean's done this never, so that's how we like to do these. I've never even seen it done. Yeah. All right. I wasn't even around when it was being done. I wasn't allowed to. No, you weren't allowed to. All right, first things first. Uh, down here, this is a... Uh, What's in there? It's basically like a giant candle. It looks like a genie's going to come out. Yeah, it looks like a genie's going to come out. And so inside is actually some of this bad boy right here, uh, denatured alcohol. So this this involves this involves flames. It involves uh, denatured alcohol, gasoline, basically. Is that your All local right. hardware store? <laughs> yeah, bought on Amazon. Shipped it, actually. Bill's going right. to drink some of it now. So hopefully. So, uh, oh, first I got to fill water. So, so I unscrew this. A little big here. Looks like a chess piece. A little chess piece. Yeah, a little pawn. pawn. A little pawn there. Uh, I think that's closed, not sure. And I'm going to fill this part with water. How really much water? Uh, 400 cc's. And I only know that because it's that's what a the good directions. Breast, that's a good breast size. It's good 400 cc's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting the, like, still like or whatever. It's a good size for all kinds of things, I suppose. All right. Last time. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I think CCs, I just go, I default to breast implants. <laughs> like, when have you ever measured anything in CCs? Uh, chemistry class. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Now, so I got uh, this Phillips water. So screw in the. Screw that back in now. Seal that bad boy up. Screw back in the pond. Now, um, next thing actually is right in here, we're going to need to put a five tablespoons of coffee in there. So Dean, you want to put five tablespoons of PR blend in so there? So is that one tablespoon? It's one tablespoon. Came with this. It's actually a nice long... Yeah, good for the bag. Nice good bag bag getter. Little tablespoon there. Thank God these have resealable straps It, it does make it nice. And I'm just saying. While you're getting those five tablespoons out, I'm kind of start this part. There's a, it comes with a filter. You need a filter and it's cloth. It's a cloth filter. Um, and it has strings on it on the end so it'll tie around something. So uh, there's this little guy here. So I actually put the filter on the end of this. So we tie that up. Boop. So it's almost like a little sack. Almost like a little, see how it's a little like sack around there? A little mini mm -hmm. sack or something? Mm -hmm. You gotta tie that bad boy off. A little bit of manual labor here. That was either five or four. I lost track. Yeah, maybe, yeah, probably good. No, it was five. It was five, okay. That was good. All right. <clears throat> there we go. This guy's tied off. I'm not getting too serious out there. Got to let your hang, let your uh, strings hang low. Now, this goes in here, and this part goes in uh, right in. So that <clears throat> plugs in like a cork, kind of a cork <clears throat> system. Yeah, right? it's kind of like a cork right there. It's kind of tight, so it makes a little bit of a little seal on there. And we got the in there with the with the coffee, with the coffee grounds. Okay, we got to lid it. Pop the lid on this bad boy here. Good. To, good. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to be doing. I just didn't want, I wanted to be more even. I was trying to get it to fall down. Mm. Oh, it, it, it fills. Okay. Well, so. Oh my God. We're gonna pause. There we go. All right, now. Now what we do is, don't worry about that. Now what we do is uh, we open up this bad boy here. Oop, spill a little water, that's key. All right, so this goes down. And so now, just by the way, it'll it'll hold that open. Now, wow. We could have just used this handle here. I didn't know that was an option. Yeah. Go ahead, push down, lower for us. There we go. Now we spark it up. There. Oh, that lights fast. Well, there it's covering alcohol. Yeah, that alcohol lights quick. So, so it's a clean burn. While this starts going, okay, we're gonna go through a few stages here because there's actually we use, there's chili water in here because so we just got it straight out of the the filter. Yep. So it's filter water. So uh, what's gonna happen first? Gonna be condensation. Yeah. Then the condensation will dry up, evaporate, and then as the water heats, I'm explaining what's gonna happen. As the water heats, what's gonna happen is then going to go through the siphon, through the little hose here, and fill this container. Mm -hmm. As this container fills up with water, this will be lighter. This chalice. This chalice. This will be lighter, so the balancing will tip, right? So there's a tipping point. There's a tipping point. 
Now, as this goes up from the tipping, it automatically extinguishes the flame. Oh, so it's resting on the container. It's still inside there. This goes up, boop, and that's the benefit of this compared to the uh, the, the vertical stack siphons, it which we'll do one of those turn in off the, the future. Flame itself. You have to cut the flame yourself at the right time. This mm -hmm. automatically does it at the right time. Oh wow! So then, so flame this cuts is a way off. Way more advanced version here. Way more advanced version. Then uh, what happens is this is empty from water, but what happened if all the water that was in here and a sealed container goes into there? What do we have going on in here now? Once the temperature cools, mm -hmm. we got a vacuum. Oh, so you don't want to open that. So then it sucks all the coffee. The coffee didn't hurt the grounds. At the appropriate time, once the proper extraction has taken sucks place. Sucks it through this bag. It's, mm -hmm, that's why it's called a siphon brewer. It then sucks all the coffee out of the chalice back into the pot. So this is where you actually pour the coffee and out. And then we got the little spit in front. Oh, shit. So there's a spit, like a, like a spout. Yeah, really small, comes out really slow. Whatever. Yeah. That's awesome. There I didn't even go. see that part. Yeah. I didn't realize that's what that was. Oh, it's a whole thing. Uh, one little thing. Uh, oh, wow. I don't know if maybe a, a higher... First off, hold on. Why are coffee shops not putting on this fucking display? <laughs> like, well, well, part of it is because I think this takes like... Uh, like we're on the hook for about 15 minutes. We'll, well probably I mean, we'll cut out and then we'll come back in when the excitement happens. I've, but. I've waited plenty of times for 15 minutes for coffee. That was... Like that was there was so, no line. It wasn't. It was just strictly yeah. like go to Phil's Coffee or yeah. something like that. Like you're waiting 15, 20 minutes for a cup of so coffee. A lot of times they make these in like a copper. Mm. They make them in copper. Mm. Um, we we got the stainless set. They make different colors. Um, and so it talks a little bit about it here, a little bit of the history. But I'll just give you a real brief overview. Is uh, first the first balancing siphon apparatus was patented in the United States. Go USA. But it was a Belgium in 1866. So we just basically made a better version of the Belgium invention. Right. In a Belgium style or balance brewer, uh, the process of making coffee is more elegant. Okay. So that, that's kind of what's going on here. A lot of people, a lot of the reviews of this when I bought it, people are saying like, oh, it works great. It's a good conversation piece. I was going to say, I'm great yeah. for like a dinner party or something. That's like, oh, check out this yeah, shit. Yeah, people for dinner. After dinner, hey, anybody want a cup of coffee? Oh, I can use a cup of coffee. All right. And then you slap this bitch on the counter, get out the lighter. You know what's going on now? You got a show. Intrigue. You got a show. You got a show. Yep, yeah, that's exactly it. Wow. Yeah. Very cool. All right. Well, let's, uh, while this thing's, we do now, downside is it does take a little bit of time because you, you know, you got to wait for this whole thing to heat up and then, you know, that. But uh, we'll come back in once things start happening. All right. Yep. Yeah. So this thing's all sealed off. Oh, we got a little bit of liquid in there. So you see it starts just kind of. Oh, here it goes. Oh, things are happening. Here we go, filling up. Oh yeah. So I told you the, the, the excitement is, hard, it's hard to contain yourself. Yeah, this is pretty impressive. <laughs> it is fun. It is kind of fun. Now let's get some close-ups of that, Aaron. Get it, get in on that. Get in on that action. Here it goes. Huh? And make sure once, uh, once this guy starts, uh, Starts raising up. You want to catch now it's that. getting faster and louder. It's filling. Oh, this is pretty awesome. This is awesome. It's a whole. It's a whole thing. Yeah. See how the grounds are. Uh, the grounds are expanding as they're taking on water. And then, oh, oh things are high. Here it goes. Oh, here comes the dump. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Whoa! And then it cuts it. Flames out. Flames out. No more La Flame, only La Flare. And then you so wait. So now the straw is currently sucking. Well, now it's, the just, it's out. sitting until as the temperature drops in the container, right? So it's just sitting there now because it sills all the pressure in it. But then once it starts cooling down, air molecules slow down. And you see it now it sucks it back in, sits it back down. That's so, how fast it sucks it through. That's how fast sucks it through. Vacuum, dog. There it is. So now it's ready to pour and enjoy. Now it's ready to pour and enjoy. So they say first thing you do when you're pouring is uh, you grab a caffeine and kilo certified mug. Certified PR blend it's consuming mug. Say you loosen up this top so a little air gets in there, otherwise you, you want open to the shoot spit. now. Well, if you open the spit, maybe nothing will happen. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. okay. I thought maybe it would shoot out too fast. It's too hot. 
There we go. You just burn yourself just a hit, just a touch. And there we go. We got coffee. Wow. It's, uh, it's a little slow coming out of there. Yeah, that's all right. That's the pino. Yeah. Perfect. Don't worry about that. Right. So how many cups does this make? 400 cc's is the water, so I don't know, somewhere. Couple cups. There. Couple cups. Yeah, maybe. So it's good for like a, you know, a date night. Date night. You have a uh, Craigslist uh, friend over. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy some nice. Boys, do I have a treat for you? <laughs> it'd, be a, it'd be a story. It'd be a story. There we go. And so there's some more in there, I just cut it, you know, because this, uh, so we can get this So it going. looks, looks to have a pretty dark, a pretty dark, uh... Yeah, brew's pretty thick. Mm -hmm. You wanna get in there? Check that out. There it is. I mean, it thing. smells great. I mean, but, I mean, our coffee always smells good, but... Yeah. This yeah. looks really hot. Like, it could be too hot. Piping. Some would describe it as piping. Yeah, well, let's let's burn ourselves. Yeah, there we right, go. Here we go. Oh, that's good. Oh, it is dense. It's dense. Yeah. Well, that's thick. It's almost like a. Wow, it almost has an espresso density to it. It's like between. Like yeah, like it's it's pretty it's pretty dense. I will say though, not the best tasting coffee I've ever had. It's. And it's not the coffee. Well, it's also we, we too hot. It's too hot to tell right now. It's a lot to tell. What I'm saying is the the brewing like it's it is very smooth. Um, Parablin's always pretty smooth, but it is it's like it does seem a little smoother than some methods. But it's not like oh holy shit, that's the best cup of coffee I've ever had. You know what I mean? For example, I uh, now these these make espresso, so it's not exactly the same. But like uh, talking about the AeroPress or that one pump guy, mm -hmm. the one pump dog. You know what I'm talking about? Pump yeah. dog millionaire. Yeah, the yeah the little pocket espresso pocket machine. Pocket espresso machine. You know, those both, um, to me, in my opinion, those actually make the like smoothest, best. You know, this is good. It's not bad, but it's. I think my honest opinion, uh, it's fun, and I love it. And I'm gonna use it sometimes because it's fun. But does it actually make better coffee than other methods? Eh, debatable. I don't know. I really like it. Well. That's where, I guess that's where we differ. I feel like you get a lot of flavor. Oh yeah. I feel like you're getting a lot of, a there's lot a, there's of a lot of flavor in there. This is kind of like how I make it at home. Maybe that's why like, I do, I overkill it within a French press. Like uh, I'm doing you, a lot of scoops. This, I will say this is very similar to a French press. Yeah. Right. Except for the, the argument here is that this is actually superior because in a French press, you push it down, but the grounds are still intact with the coffee. Whereas here, that's completely taken out. So there are no grounds in here, so it helps keep out like that last little bit of like bitter. You know? Yeah, it does feel very granule free. Like I'm not getting any kind of texture None. at all. None. Yeah. Well, there we go. I really like this. I think I have a little bit different of opinion yeah. uh, on, than Danny on this. I really enjoy this. If you like. I don't know. It's, I like very, it. it's very full flavored, but yeah. it does have a little bit of spikiness to it in the taste. You mm. know what I mean? It gives it a little, a little, a little kick, a little like a little spice. Yeah. You know well, what you I just, mean? You really taste the flavors. You're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. So there you go. Whether I will say this, the Belgian Royal Coffee Maker is definitely it's definitely fun. It retails for one hundred and twenty dollars. Well, they're all over the place. They're okay. be between this model here. Oh yeah, they're between one twenty and one eighty. About mm -hmm. if you go on like Amazon, that's where we bought it. To be mm -hmm. honest. So it's right in that kind of range. That it's 100, not your fifty dollar range. It's not your budget uh, apparatus. Not a budget. You know what it is? Like we talked about, it's a good like. You got people over after dinner. Let's make a pot of coffee. Or Craigslist friend. Craigslist friend over. You know, and uh, and there you go. Yeah. There it is. Very cool. Well, that's good. That was fun. That yep. was uh, definitely one of the most visual pleasing coffee making experiences I've ever been through. Mm-hmm. I can say that again. You know what I mean? Like, does it get much better than that as far as like a showman's? Yeah. 
Oh, the whole thing. And the whole Visual. thing is like it's it's a balance. Like there's uh there's science involved. Yeah. There's uh you actually get to light something on fire. Yeah. Who doesn't like that? Who doesn't like fire balance shiny? It's a it's a weighted balancing thing here. Actually, the reason this closes, it's open, but then as this lifts up, it closed down because these are weighted. So it's balancing act there as well. So the whole thing is. It's also is a safety safety mechanism too, like that it shuts off itself. It shuts so off. So you're in the other empty. room. It's done. It's gonna. You don't have to worry about it falling over. And that's the thing the about the vertical down. siphons. The mm -hmm. vertical vacuum brewers or siphon brewers. Uh, the, they you gotta shut it. The, once it's empty, you shut it down yourself. And so this has a little more control over that. Yeah. Wow. So there you go. Very cool. This is how we brew it. That's how we brew it. See you guys.